Welcome, this is Solopreneur Success Strategies, where we talk about mindset, your website, your brand, your social media marketing, your customers, how to sell to your customers, how to, how to find your customers, how to talk about the skills and knowledge you need in your business, and free software and tools to help you save time, money, and be more productive, as well as strategy and systems, here on Solopreneur Success Strategies. Welcome. Welcome, this is Jane Gardner, and welcome to Solopreneur Success Strategies. And today is Strategy Sunday, so welcome. This is going to be interesting today because we're going to be outlining a business plan. So just the concept, of course, but uh, anyway, this will be uh, fun. Yes, it will be, I promise. Uh, I besides a strategy Sunday, I also have Mindset Monday, where we talk about mindset. Of course, uh, Tuesday is Get Your Message Out Tuesday, uh, where we look at uh, your messaging, your brand, and your website, and your social media messaging. Uh, Wednesday, we look at your customer on um, World Domination Wednesday and how to uh, get your customer, keep your customer, and make them your raving fans. Thursday is Jack or Jill of All Trades, where we talk about uh, skills and knowledge you need as a solopreneur. Friday is a freebie Friday, where we talk about the free software and tools that you can use in your business in order to um, save money and uh, save time. And uh, Saturday is System Saturday, where we also look at systems to put into your business so that you can save time and well, save money too, in a way, and have more time to grow your business as well as be with your family and friends. And today is Strategy Sunday, where we look at your goals and visions for your business and then how to um, create that into a business plan for the year uh, for various and some of the reasons, of course, why you want to have a business plan. And then we had been looking at some of the business models there are out there. So this is Sunday, and of course, I haven't told you who I am again. I'm Jane Gardner of jane-gardner.com. I work with my husband in our structural engineering firm for the last 20 years in home-based business on our own in Western Canada. And uh, we have dogs and cats, and uh, I'm an artist, and I have several websites. Uh, one of them is HTTPS, the business of at-home business, where I'll have a membership opening soon for those who are interested in being in a home business and have never thought of it before, as well as those who are already in home business and some of the ideas to help you grow your business. So that'll be coming up hopefully September of 2016. So let's get started here for Strategy Sunday. So first off, I wanted to go over some of the things that we've gone over so far. But before that, we'll be looking at what exactly is Strategy Sunday and what we'll be talking about for the year. So here's the overview. We're going to we've looked at the vision for you and your business and how you can make goals for your first year, three, and five-year plan in order to decide, well, what kind of business lifestyle do I want? Because you want to have your business fit your lifestyle. You don't want to have to fit your lifestyle to your business. And we will be looking at you and your business plan, as well as we'll be looking at business trends in 2016 as they change. Uh, some of them that uh, include some of the new social media that is coming up and how you can adapt your business to that as well as other things like uh, QR codes or being mobile on having a mobile response website, those kind of things that are just for the year 2016. So anyway, this is we're going to have a look then at uh, what we had looked at before. But uh, your business is like a stream. It flows. It can trickle. It can change direction. It can surge. It can get blocked. But it can never go back. So it's always moving forward. So if you want to ever want to go back and have a look at some of the episodes from Strategy Sunday as well as the other episodes, I have a YouTube channel at jgtips.com backslash YouTube. And you subscribe there, you'll get notification of any new episodes. Uh, there's a daily show 
uh, as I mentioned, on the, the seven days. So I'd like to um, think I might use this as my um, motto for strategy is, is that it's your business is like a stream. As I mentioned before, it flows, it can tri trickle, can change direction, and it can surge, and it can get blocked. And the reason that I use that as an analogy is because it's always moving, as well as the Internet and the world around you is moving, and you never know what the future will bring. So you have to be willing to adapt to the future and the business as it goes along and um, any um, challenges, etc. So you're always having to adapt your business plan. And so I want you to um, get that as an important point to all this, is that you have to have sort of a business plan for the year that you think about for your goals and your vision for the year, and then be willing to change uh, as you go along, depending on what circumstances come up for you and what happens on the internet or what happens in your business relationships, etc. You have to always be willing to adapt. So it's very good to have a business plan so that you can um, at least have it for a year focus and then adapt it as you go along. So that's why we're doing that today. Um, we already had a look at your vision for you and your business. You know, how many hours you wanted to work in your business and what kind of business you wanted to do and the goals that you would like to have for up to five years for you and how you can uh, use it to figure out what kind of business, if you have no idea at the moment, that you want to do in terms of um, business and how it will adapt to you and your lifestyle. So now we're going to be looking at you and your business plan and then later business trends in 2016. On a previous episode, we discussed the diverse business model is uh, probably going to be the best business model for anyone in that you have at least three or four sources of income coming into your business so that you're not working as hard as um, to get one level of income. Instead, you have a revenue, excuse me, you have revenue layers. So this is also something for you to think about for your business plan. Uh, how are you going to be able to have different levels of revenue coming into your business such that it's, some of it's automatic so that you don't have to work as hard all the time uh, with working one-on-one, -on -one, but you can actually have some automated um, income coming in depending on how, of course, you market. And last week we had a look at some of the um, – business models that are out there on the internet and some of the pros and cons of them and the time that you need to um, uh, spend time for in the business. So for example, let's see, direct sales where you're selling something directly one-on-one -on -one to a customer. Um, of course, that is um, beneficial. That's the best relationship in terms of being personal and human. And of course, that's a big pro for direct sales, but of course you need enough customers uh, in order to make the kind of income that you want. Um, of course, doing it one-on-one, -on -one, you're only limited by your time uh, of the day. And there's only 80 hours in a week or more, depending on, well, <laughs> oh, there's not more. Uh, and versus um, working on um, something like being an online educator where you're willing to teach to a wide audience and you're willing to um, adapt to what the customers want and create things for the customers' needs and, and be a solution to their problems. And you can do it live and then on replay. So there's always um, uh, a legacy for you for of your the work that you do that could always be uh, sold at a, in, in the future, even though you did it the work in the past. So, it, well, anyway, go back and have a look at that episode if you want an idea on some of the different models we looked at. We looked at subscription, coaching, premium model, online educator, online content, an affiliate um, model, a freemium model, a value-added reseller model, as well as a direct sales model. And um, I think I promised to come and uh, talk about them today. But instead, I'm going to do the outline of what you need for your business plan because that will work well into figuring out how different the different business models are from each other when you actually look at the business plan. 
So what kind of business model do you envision that will match your goals for your lifestyle business? Before you can decide on your business model, you have to decide on what you want your lifestyle business to be in terms of your goals and vision for the business and as well as the time you want to spend on the business and the time that you want to spend with friends and family. And so the business model will have to work with your lifestyle if you want to be happy in your business as a lifestyle business. You don't want your lifestyle to fit the business model. You want it the other way around. So always be careful when you're going and making a decision on uh, what kind of business that you would like to do uh, to make sure that it fits your lifestyle. So on the first episode, I had a... Um, uh, goals and vision purpose legacy um, uh, worksheet for you that you could download at uh, jgtips.com backslash s sunday as well as it's right on the same page as where this show is and you can work on that and figure out uh, what how you want to uh, have the visions for you and your business as well, I have an offer. I always have an offer in the show. Um, I am offering um, to do a training on jgtips.com backslash plan where we plan your business, where we look at first what is a business plan and why you need one, how to pick your online business model if that's what you wish to have. Obviously, when we're together in webinars, we can, I can get um, feedback as to what people really want to talk about but how to do a research uh, to figure out whether there's a market out there for you and defining your unique selling proposition and and how to set your short and long-term business goals and develop your sales and marketing plan and determine the obstacles to face and resources you need to meet your business goals. And then, of course, how to implement your business plan and determine if your business plan will be profitable, as well as, of course, you're doing all the uh, fairly simple financial budget, etc. All the essentials you need in order to estimate your future revenue and see, well, especially to see whether there's customers out there and there's a market out there for your business. So that's at uh, jgtips.com backslash plan, uh, the offer. So let's have a look at what is a business plan and why do you need one? Well, I know that um, a lot of us don't just start a business without a business plan, and it's not the s smartest move to do, but uh, I know that a lot of us do that. And so why do you need one? Well, it doesn't have to be complicated. All you want to really do is to map out your goals for the business, your action plan for the year, and get yourself financials together as far as your budget and for the year and how much you're going to spend and how much you think you'll be spending versus how much will be coming in. So, of course, you have to do research on your competition, on your customers that might be available, and your market, and see if it's a viable idea for a business. And that's what we do a business plan for. Um, you can also get it, use it to get funding, creating a business plan. A lot of uh, banks may like you to do a business plan where you, they look at the market and see what your competitors are and see how viable your business plan would be in order for you to get a loan for your funding. Uh, for those of you in the United States, um, the Small Business Administration has a great um, slideshow on doing a business plan and certainly the format that they would have would help you in terms of also finding out what grants there are for small businesses, etc. And then we're also looking at using a business plan to get your business organized so that you realize what kind of things you need to put together in terms of your website or your um, financials and your um, maybe you need to do inventory and order a source, um, a source product, etc. And the business plan will help you realize um, how much inventory you could get, for example, uh, before you start your business. And But it also, as you go along, the business plan will show you where you may be going wrong, um, especially if you've already done a lot of research and figured out a budget and you're way, be, uh, way uh, high above your budget. Excuse me. 
So the key components usually have a business plan. Um, first off would be to explain what the business is. So that would include a business model description of what kind of business you want to do, whether it's an online affiliate marketing or online, you know, the, all those direct sales, et cetera, or value-added reseller. Um, you will go into that more detail next time. But for, so we need to work on that. We need to figure out what business model that you would need to to use that you want to do, of course. And then we'll have a look at how you are unique from others so that you stand out and differentiate yourself from others because, of course, you'll be looking at your competitors in the um, market in order to see if there is a market. If there's competitors out there who are making money, then you know there is a market for what you want to do. And what you need to do is also stand out and differentiate yourself from those competitors so that people know how easy it is to pick you. And then look at your business goals for, I think, up to one to three to five years and what you'd like for your uh, income and revenue, as well as just the goals for how many customers you want, etc. And then you would also create a marketing plan for the business before you even start so that you can actually market the business to get out the word out so that you can actually buy, sell things <laughs> and people will buy. Um, it's not very good to start without a marketing plan because you won't basically flounder trying to figure out what the marketing plan is while you're trying to get revenue in and your expenses are piling up. And then you also need an action plan, of course, which we were just talking about, what you're going to do in the next six months to a year in order to get your business up and running and uh, connecting with others and marketing and also, of course, selling to others. So you need an action plan for your business and the key components of a business plan. And, of course, you need the dreaded, for some people, financial forecast and budget. So we'll have a look at that later. You can usually do a fairly simple one just to adapt it as you go along each year. And yeah, that was it. So the, basically you need a, a business model. Uh, uh, you need to have a unique selling point, business goals, your marketing plan, your action plan, and your financial forecast and budget. A very simple business plan, and we'll go into it further. Uh, next week in more detail probably in the business model description. So when should you create a business plan? Well, of course, you need to do it when you're first starting a new business or when you need to raise money in order to start your business, especially for someone who has inventory or product that they have to um, buy and resell. You need to have some um, startup funding. And I read a report recently by the Kaufman Foundation that a lot of women, um, they are usually, their primary source of funding is their family and themselves, that um, banks uh, tend to be rather uh, reticent in terms of giving out money these days, and that a lot of people are using their own uh, savings or finding money monetary support from their family to start up their business. So it's always good to have a business plan so you can show whoever is, is giving you money um, at what's going to be happening in the next year. So how, well, how do you use your business plan? Well, of course, you're going to be using it as a guide and a blueprint uh, during the year. It's not written in stone. Um, as I mentioned, the internet changes so quickly and business relationships change so quickly. And opportunities come up that you never even thought of uh, from the beginning of the year that you need to be able to adapt your business plan. So always have it available, but always be revising it and changing it as necessary in order to be flexible enough so that you can work on your financial for forecast and budget at any time and change it as you go along because you want to be ready for any opportunities that come along uh, that you had not even thought of before but are becoming opportunities that might actually grow your business in a new direction. As I mentioned, your business is like a stream. It can trickle, it can flow, it can surge, it can be blocked, but it can also change direction 
I found that I changed my direction for my business for in the last three years, and I'm finding it's going off in a, a direction that I never thought of when I first started. So you always have to be available to change and be flexible in your business plan. So it's always good to have something written down so that you can change it and go along with it. So next week, we'll look at some of the online business models and how you work with it in terms of making a business plan. And to catch up with any of the Strategy Sunday trainings uh, and the rest of the week, you can go to Solopreneur Success Strategies playlist on my YouTube channel at jgtips.com backslash YouTube. So I hope that excited you a little bit. I hope you didn't get overwhelmed at the idea of doing a business plan. We're going to be doing a very simple business plan, and it will I think it will work really well for you because these days with the Internet and the change in technology being so quick, um, business plans are not written in stone anymore. Um, you need to be able to adapt real quickly to the changing times and changing relationships that you find. So you need to be able to have a very simple business plan that you can uh, change quickly. So next week we'll be looking at the online business model and how you can um, put it into your business plan and um, maybe use a few uh, examples next time. Thank you. This is Jane Gardner of Solopreneur Success Strategies, and thank you for listening. Thank you for listening. This has been Jane Gardner at Solopreneur Success Strategies. Please go and subscribe at jgtips.com backslash programs. And also to find out about other programs as well over at jgtips.com slash programs. And over there we have a free uh, mindset magazine for you to check out at jgtips.com backslash mindset offer. So welcome. Thanks for listening. And I hope to see you again here tomorrow as this is a seven day a week show on mindset, your customer, getting your message out on social media and on your website, talking about strategies, talking about business systems, talking about all kinds of things, including the skills that you need as a solopreneur. So please come back and subscribe at jgtips.com backslash programs. Thank you.